It's 839 right now. 839 at the home of the Ryan Kimmer Morning Show with Wanda Smith. If you log on to uh, watchbeatonthree.com, um, there's not a, a dry eye in the studio right now because of uh, something that has made a lot of people just appreciate the lives that we have. And in the studio, um, we have Stephanie Clark, Brio Ellis, um, Chauncey Hill, and also Haywood. <laughs> which I can't see the name. Hey, what Hill. Um, of course, you know, if you watch any of the news reports, you know, you know about the very tragic, tragic uh, incident involving um, twin toddler daughters yes. of Ariel Roxanne North and Elena Marianne North, who were about a year and a half old. Mm -hmm. um, Wanda, you know, you reached out to the family because at, at this time, it's just kind of like what, what V103 does, you mm -hmm. know, when, when there's a, a story like this that is so sad, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we try to uplift the family, not only in prayer, but also to those who are listening at home right now. Right. To kind of tell them, you know, we need to come together and support this family. Absolutely. You know, people always ask, you know, how do you know who to help? Um, I came into the studio and getting prepared for work and the story popped up on the TV and right away I was in tears to see this incident happen and I then began to tell Maria Boynton and Reggie and Ryan that I have to reach out to this family because that's what God want me to do and we put it out there and of course got a phone call back from a young lady that was actually on the news telling the story and then I got a phone call from Daryl Watkins, a Watkins funeral home, and said, Wanda, the family is here. Are you looking for them? And I said, yes. And I said, look at how God works. And then I spoke with Chauncey. Good morning, Chauncey, which is a grandfather. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Mm. Heartbroken, but, um, you know, we're trying to keep our heads up and keep it together. Uh, we do know that God is in control, and, and he doesn't make any mistakes, so we're trying to hold on to that. Right. And in speaking with you, you know, I ask, you know, your wife and your daughter, I know you guys are just dealing with such a, it's just a tough time for your family right now. And your daughter, Bria, was on the way. Can you explain exactly what happened? <clears throat> well, the... The day she was, um, this horrific event happened, she was at the hospital visiting her sister who had uh, almost a near fatal accident, I think like the day before. Um, and she had texted me and called me like literally six, seven times saying, you know, go check on the children. You know, I, you know, he, they were in this, far, she left the kids in um, the father's care and she mm -hmm. had texted me and I was um, working and I told her as soon as I got through Sending my emails off, I'd, I'd go check on them. Um, little did I know, when I got there, it was, it was you know, crime scene tape and police and mm -hmm. um, everybody was on the scene and I actually couldn't get to the house. So um, I rushed to the hospital where they were. Wow. And I know... You know, we have Bria's best friend here, and I'm so happy that, you know, you're here this morning. And I know you. when I walked into the office, you were very emotional. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We've been here on my pregnancy, been here for her for hers, and she called me every morning. Mm -hmm. She called me every morning. We talk every morning. I mean, a morning never go by without us talking. Right. And they might know her baby is premature, mm -hmm. so to her fight I was there by her side she called me every day and told me everything they did <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> and we actually, you know, wanted to bring the family on because in this time of need right now, I'm, 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 I'm just going to ask that we come together as a community and reach out to this family because we never know who's going to get a call. We never know who's going to get a call. And, you know, when I shared with Ryan that I wanted to reach out to this family, I, I can't thank Chauncey enough for calling. And, and you said everybody was reaching out to you guys, you know, for help. But it, it's not about the whole publicity thing. It's about bringing the community together because something like this could happen to any of us. That's right. And so this morning, you know, real, we love you. And you want to share with Atlanta how you're feeling and what, what we could do to help out. This is the mother of, of the twin girls. I feel empty. Every day I wake up, I try not to sleep because I don't want to wake up and realize that they're still not here. Well, we're we're going to be praying. We're going to be strong. I know this is so hard for the family. And you have everybody here. Your mom is here, your dad, your friend, your uncle. Everybody's here for you. We're here for you. Nancy, can you, you tell us, you know, how can, you know, people are probably in their cars right now. They're sitting at their, their workstations. Like, how can we help? What do we need to, to do? First of all, you... Reaching out to us was was just tremendous. Um, I mean, we definitely appreciate that. Um, the the kids they didn't have any insurance, of course, um, and I think most of all, helping her in life to move forward in life. Yes, you know, yes. w- when all of this is done, when all the dust settles, she still has to go forward and live her life. That's right. And and you know, we want to make sure that she's productive and and. You know, although we're going through right now, we want to make sure that, you know, after this is all done, that she's productive and and she can move on with her life. Well, we know you guys have a a, a GoFundMe that's up right now. Yes. How can people access that? Uh, The link we provided, um, I think it's the www.gofundme.com forward slash Ariel and Elena, uh, and if you access that link, you can um, actually uh, donate there. Okay, we're going to put it up. You see yeah, it, Yeah, it's Yes, yeah, GoFundMe.com, Elena and Ariel. Yes. And so, Atlanta, you know, you're listening right now. You hear this, the grief in this family's heart. You know, Wanda and I have, had, have shared it on Facebook as well. Uh, we've also donated as well. Yes. Um, you know, they're trying to, to raise uh, $10,000 to aid in the, the memorial fund for Elena and Ariel. It, we're at 2670 right now. Right. We're a long way. Mm-hmm. We're asking everybody in Atlanta, you know, when we sit down and we talk about ratings that they say, you know, we, we reach a million people a week. That's right. So this should be easy for you to donate, you know, mm-hmm. and you'll see. Uh, Juana's donation on there. You'll see my donation on there because we don't want to tell you all to give and, and we're not doing it as well because, right. you know, as, as we are both parents, you know, me with three and Juana with two, um, mm-hmm. you know, this is um, very heartbreaking. This is beyond belief mm-hmm. um, to see everybody's face in this, in the studio. But, you know, real, you, you're surrounded, like Wanda said, by people who love you so much. Mm-hmm. And I hope you, you realize that. And Atlanta, if you're listening right now, we want you to show that love as well by, by going and, and donating. You know, if it's a million people, that's listening, right. you know what I'm saying? That's right. It Atlanta, be, it's time to reach out. No issue at all. Mm-hmm. That's Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And this is her. You're the uncle. First of all, I want to thank you guys for having us out. Um, as you know, anytime you have death, you, it's unexpected and you can't prepare for it. But when you have children involved, right, uh, it rocks you to your core. Right. Mm. And what I'm asking uh, from Atlanta and just abroad is for people to pray for both the families. Mm-hmm. Uh, both parents have lost. Both parents are suffering. Both sides um, <sighs> have to go through this. Right. Uh, and as they prepare for the homegoing services on Thursday, uh, I just pray that um, Atlanta will keep them in their prayers beyond Thursday. And and it's just it's just a tragedy. But prayer is what's needed most. Prayer is what's needed most. 10 before the hour of uh, 9 o'clock right here on the People Station. We're going to be home with the Ryan Kevin Marshall with Wanda Smith. We have uh, the entire family in, um, yes. you know. And we're gonna we're gonna um actually post where we're gonna put it so you so they can see exactly where on all of V one oh three social media where you can donate. We need everyone to help this family out right now. Please, I'm asking you. This is this is what God wants us to do this morning. Let, let's let's reach out and as Ryan said, you know, we donate ourselves and we're asking that you help this family. In the time of need, this mom is is really in a lot of pain. And we would appreciate it so much. 851 right now. Again, uh, Elena and um, Ariel, and that's A-L-A-Y-N-A-H and Ariel, A-R-I-E-L. Um, we're at 2670 right now. And for all the people who are listening, you know, every day when, when we let our kids go out and play and whatever, Mm-hmm. You know, you just, just being very prayerful that they return home. You know, that's all we want. I mean, just, you know, be good. Yes. See you later. Return home and for, you know, Brielle to be visiting your sister, I guess. And trying to support her. And then to have exactly. this, this happen. Yes. It, 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 it is something that we all need to recognize as a, as a family. Right. And I'm talking about the, the, the community of Atlanta, mm-hmm. that when somebody is going through something like. Anytime it happens to somebody else, then you kind of can just feel like you can go on with your business. Right. But I always say, you know, that you give good, you get good. Yes. You know, if you take just a moment mm-hmm. to make this donation. Please, Atlanta. Because we want to just here's what we want. We just want to give them peace of mind about this part of it. Right. Right. About this part, because all the, the, the counseling and all the, the grief and all the things, this whole family's just been torn apart by this. And we just want to take this one thing off of the table. Right. And if you're sitting there and you're listening, if you're at your cubicle and you're listening or you, you, you're on your phone, you know, use your smartphone. We Instagram, we, we Snapchat, we tweet, we on Facebook Live. Mm-hmm. Just take a moment and, and help this family out. Yes, please. We're asking. It's eight fifty three right now. You know, I'm, I'm watching the donations come in. Um, people are remaining, remaining anonymous. Mm-hmm. Let me just be clear on one thing, and let me make sure I get the words right. This is for the home going service for these babies. Okay. Yes. I'm just looking at some of the stuff that people are trying to make speculation and comments. This is not. The forum or the place for that. So, who you know, hopefully we can get that stuff down or whatever. This is for the homegoing service yes. for these babies. That's all. So, please, do what you can. Elena and Ariel <coughs> North passed away in a horrific tragedy. They're asking for family, friends, and the community to support and, and pray for them. Um, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like 12 people in the studio and it's so right. quiet because they're babies. Yes. Babies. Exactly. And I, and I think we're at a point, you know, here, especially in Atlanta, where when things like this happen, we are so quick to help. And it's just one of those times where we, we need to help. 
There's no reason to question why did this happen or why did that happen. We, we just need the help. That's that's it. That's all. And we're asking this morning that we pour out to this family so that we can give our babies a nice home going. That's that's all we're asking. And it doesn't matter the donation. It doesn't whatever, matter the amount. Yeah, whatever you if can give. If it's five dollars. Exactly. Whatever you can help. give, everything will help. And I know this family would greatly appreciate it. And you'll see, you know, when you go to it, that, you know, Wanda and I have, have donated as well, you know, because as parents, you hear it so often that children are supposed to bury their parents, not the other way around. And the studio is somber, somber. Yes. People in here are hurting. So we ask you. I know we all know we're on our way to do something else. We got something else to do. You'll do it later. But before we leave, mm-hmm. let's get it done. And I think that we can. I know we can. Yes. We have to do this. This is, this is what we're supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to do. So, again, the, the GoFundMe. Um, it's GoFundMe.com, then backslash Elena, A-L-A-Y-N-A-H, and Ariel, A-R-I-E-L. Ariel, we love you, and, 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 and we, don't, we don't want you to, you have, like your father said, you have to go on with your life. You know what I mean? And it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard, but you have a great foundation. And this man right here, a good man. I'm just like, how can you live without the best thing mm. that ever happened to you? We're going to have to lift this family up in prayer. Please, y'all. Please. And, and, and more than, you know, oh my God. I just think the city, sometimes, y'all, we're so busy with the post and the, and right. emojis right. like like this right. is actually going to have to be a physical prayer. Yes. Not you putting on Facebook prayers mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. or you putting the hands clasped together. Emo- like the, this family is hurting. Said the best thing that's ever happened to you. And you remember that. Right. If you are a parent, when they told you 10 fingers, 10 toes, you was like, OK, everything mm-hmm. else, we good. Right. You know, and I know that they got here a little early. Mm hmm. Yes. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all the way from Carrollton, Georgia, and real was on the way to the hospital to see her sister, which was in a very, you know, accident as well. And to get that news, we all have to go to the hospital. I remember when my nephew was in an accident and, you know, I had to reach out to Ryan to do so many things for me to help him. So I understand not knowing what to do, where to go, who to talk to, that feeling you're empty. You don't. You don't understand. You don't understand. So Atlanta, today is a day that we give back, and honestly, you'll feel good about giving back because we had a part in this. All right. You don't question why and where was this person and why did that person do it. You just help. That, that's it. That's all. That's all we're asking. Remember, y'all. They were they were premature. Yes, sir. Tell me about them. Tell me about their spirit. Came at six months. I was six months. They were one pound a piece. Wow. They stayed in the NICU for four months. Mm-hmm. They had um, staph infection surgeries. Mm-hmm. They went through a lot to die that way. <laughs> went through a lot to die. <laughs> They were fighters yes. from day one, from the moment they took their first breath. Mm-hmm. Mm. Elena and Ariel. Beautiful babies. Mm. 903 right now. Chauncey, what, what's on your heart, brother? <clears throat> well, again, it's, it's, it's heavy. But, uh, you know, I have to try to stay strong for the family. And, and, you know, try to find peace in knowing that, mm-hmm. you know, 
the they didn't make a choice. Right. Uh, they didn't have to, you know, live in this world of sin. We already know where they are. They're covered right now. So, uh, you know, we try to find peace in that to let them know, you know, they're in a much better place. And um, I just like, you know, the the Bible says we're, we're two or three are gathered in his name. He is in the midst. And I just, you know, want us to touch and agree right now. And, and like um, uh, my brother said earlier, we need prayers. We definitely yeah. need prayers. And this is a grandma. Come up a little closer. Hello. How are you? How are you feeling? Just trying to be strong. Yes, ma'am. Just, I really can't explain. All right. Well, the donations are coming in. Yes. Um, since we came on the air, they're they're okay. really coming in. Because yes, ma'am. Um, I was. I try not to read come them. come a little closer for me, baby. We try not to read the comments, but people don't really understand, like. My friend was the best mother. I like, like she was really a good mom. What in the best? And I see a lot of people. They don't understand. Like they didn't really read the story right. Like she loved them kids with her heart. Like she never left their side. It was always with her. They was her miracle babies. Really, like right. she. It was an awesome mom, and to read some of the comments, it really breaks my heart. Yeah, we, we have to stop that. You don't judge people because you could be in the same predicament. You you could. You don't judge people. Well, and also the fact that they're, they're, they're innocent. Oh, my God. I mean, you know, Come fighting from, from the beginning, being premature at six months, staph infection, the other thing they... They were twin fighters, you know, and and you have a a grieving parent, you have grieving grandparents, and that's the whole thing about sharing. You know, sometimes you should just maybe you know keep your keyboard to yourself. Exactly. You know, as, as we say again, the donation um, button is just gofundmecom slash Elena A L A Y N A H and Ariel. A N D A R I E L. All right. Nine oh six right now. We're gonna get it. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna get it because everybody's gonna give. We're at forty six ninety five right now. Forty six ninety five from when we first came on. So almost we're almost like you know, almost double. But there are people that are saying you know, what can I do? This is what you can do. It could be $5, it could be $20, it could be $10, it could be whatever you want to give. Mm -hmm. And just send prayers of healing during this difficult time. That's what Tamara Allen just posted. Just, just prayers of healing. Mm -hmm. That's all we need is prayers of healing for this mother and for this, these grandparents and, and the best friend and the uncle. This is something that has affected everyone. Yes, that's right. Everyone. That's right. that's right. And, you know, the Carrollton community, that, that's my, my old alma mater stomping ground, so I know how tight they are in Carrollton. No. I know how tight they are. Their family is tight down there. What do you want to say, Brielle? Oh, they were really happy babies. Really happy. Alvin and the Chipmunks was their favorite cartoon. Oh. They laughed every morning. I was very overprotective. Everybody thought it was weird. Very weird. <laughs> I think every mommy is. Yeah, I, I remember, you know, holding my baby in the day. Like, Let me hold a bit. I got him. I could take care of him better. We always think yes, that we can, right? Yes, ma'am. And I, I never <laughs> let anybody hold them. Or they had to use hand sanitizer. Or mm. you can't touch their hands or their feet because they suck on their hands. <laughs> I know. You can say whatever you feel. What, just whatever your heart Whatever your heart feels right now. Whatever. Just know, I was a very good mother. I didn't go to the club. I stayed with my kids every day. I never asked my parents to keep them nothing. I stayed with my kids every day. It's eight minutes <clears throat> after nine. Again, um, Elena and Ariel. GoFundMe.com slash A-L-A-Y-N-A-H 
A N D A R I E L. We want to say thank you to you guys for for coming in. Thank yes. you. Um, and I know there were so many people that were trying to reach out to you, you know, because it's a story that that made like the national news. But we understand that as a community here at V103 that we know that our people will will show up. You know, and I I, I know it's not going to change real. I know it's not going to change anything. I I know it. I know it's not going to change anything. But I just I think Wanda's heart was on the fact that we wanted to try to just, you know, there's so many things that are on your plate. And twice as much. Mm-hmm. And if we all help out, it's just like last night, I called a friend of mine, um, Brandon Simpson, and I said, Brandon, um, and it's just so funny how God works. A um, couple of weeks ago, I received some beautiful roses at the radio station, and I had no idea who the person was that made them for me. And I had no idea that I would have to call this person t- today. And I just want to say thank you. You tell everybody who you are and your company for making flowers for us today. Well, we are Exquisite Fleur Design, and um, we are in the Atlanta area. We, just like everybody else, you know, we heard this story. We found out what happened and it tears all of us apart and it cannot tear us apart more than it tears you apart but we're in the same space you know we get it and um so we just we decided that we would you know whatever you needed of course we would come out and bring that we've put together a a flower for the family as well we'll get that for you guys we just want to say that you know we we love you and uh, was it Fleur family we just want to present them to you and let you know that really they're coming from our hearts. And we, we, we really want to let the, the African-American community know that this is our time to step up, um, our time to say something, because a lot of times we don't do that. We, we, mm-hmm. we wait until it's our turn and then we realize, oh, it could happen to me. But right. we all know it could happen to us. And so we do that in that spirit. We're with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And as we go to break here, you know, this this is a club and, you know, a group that you wouldn't want to wish on your worst enemy. You could be as mad as you want to be about somebody, but you don't want somebody to have to lose a child. And for those people who've experienced loss like this, we ask that, you know, you, because you've experienced it, you lift Mm-hmm. The family up in prayer mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. more than just a post, mm-hmm. you know. And for those of you, you know, I, I said this at uh, my grandfather's home going. I was like, so many people always they they text you and they say, "Let me know if I can do something," you know. Let me know if I can do something. You, you got to just do it. Got to show up at the house, right? You know, because everybody's always saying, "Let me know." It's like it's your way to say you reached out, but. Reaching out and, and caring means you show up and, and you stop by with the, with the sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? You stop by with the water. That's right. That's because right. everybody's going to be gathered in this space. <laughs> and, and your mind is such a blur about what's That's going right. on. You're trying to just come to grips. You're just trying to come to grips with it all. Right. Exactly. So hard. It's so hard. And you're, you're correct. And, and I got to thank Daryl Watkins for, you know, I, I was worried about the family driving so far by themselves and he said no Daryl Watkins is going to drive us down and and from the Watkins funeral home and I can't thank you enough for calling me and stepping up you know and doing what you do to take care of families as well we really appreciate you and all the work that you do yeah thank you sir uh 6640 is where we are right now 6640 so Atlanta We see the donations are coming in. We need your help this morning. We have to put our babies to rest. And they did not have insurance. And it's not a lot of times that, you know, we reach out. But when God, when God speak, we have to listen. And this is one of those times where 
when I went to my boss and I told him, I said, I have to help this family. And in his words, he was like, what do you need us to do, Wanda? So this is what we're doing. And we're asking you to, to, to help us help this family. Okay, Atlanta. Thank you all for, for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. We're, we're praying for everybody in the family. We all, we do, we're praying for you. Thank you. We're going to hold you to our hearts. And this is, the, we know we're just meeting you, but this won't be the last time we meet. And we're sorry that we had to meet this way. 914 right now. We're going to go uh, and just ask them by the time this song is over that we reach that goal of 10,000. We're at 6640 right now. Come on, Atlanta, please, y'all. Atlanta and Ariel. GoFundMe.com slash Elena, A-L-A-Y-N-A-H-A-N-D-A-R-I-E-L. Let the church say amen. V103. This number right now is like uh, Rial said it. You know, it's not the same as having her babies back, but it does show that Atlanta yes. has your back. I know. Um, we're at sixteen thousand two hundred twenty dollars <laughs> right now, and you know. Thank y'all so much. I knew we could do it. Just you know. Yes. And as Kirk Franklin says, you know, yes. pray for him. We asking that you pray for this family. You pray for me and Wanda too, so we can keep on That's doing right. what we think the community wants us to do. That's right. And thank you to Willie Watkins Funeral Home. We truly appreciate all that you all do in the community as well. And thank you for bringing this family up here this morning so that they didn't have to worry about the drive. And you can send your, uh, you know, your floral arrangements to the Carrollton Chapel at 602 Noonan Road, uh, Carrollton Chapel of the Willie A. Watkins Funeral Home. All right. Here's Kirk Franklin on V103. for me see the wrong I've done I already